Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with me this morning as we finish our series this week on negotiation skills and strategies. Because most agents carry an attitude and an approach to negotiation that's either unproductive or sometimes downright toxic. They're completely attached to the outcome and their ego takes center stage to the point at which they can't be effective. Taking everything at a personal level leaves them emotional and ineffective and losing when it comes to negotiation. So we've been diving into some strategies this week. If you missed some of our calls, I hope you'll go to Workplace and revisit them so that you too can become an effective negotiator. Because you know we weren't born this way, right? It's an acquired skill. It's an acquired skill. You weren't just given it at birth. Okay, we're up to number 10 in our strategies. And number 10 on my list is everyone, even psychopaths, everyone wants to be seen as reasonable. Most of us think we are reasonable, even when we're not. Everybody wants to be seen as reasonable, but we... Well, because of that, we need to beware of the F word. Now, I know what you're thinking, but the F word in this case isn't that. It's this. It's fair. Got to be careful of this. That's not fair. It translates into, you're not being reasonable. When confronted with the F word, and you will be, take a step back. Take a step back. Take a breath. Ask them to explain why they feel that way. You're not being fair. Really? Well, tell me why you feel that way. And then be quiet. Shut up. Listen to them without the intent to respond, with the intent to understand where they're coming from. Listen to them. Then after they've had a chance, and you're going to have to give them a chance to explain themselves, then, and only then, just simply ask them, well, if you were in my position, what would you do? And then again, be quiet and just listen to them. Now, if they are the ones not being fair or reasonable, I'm going to give you a little phrase, and I want you to tuck this in your back pocket, and I want you to pull it out throughout the rest of your career and about three times a day in your personal life. Okay? You ready? I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry you feel that way. I might say that five or six times a day right now. It is a way for me to acknowledge, but not to agree or not to uh, cave in. I'm sorry you feel that way. I would encourage you to tuck that in your back pocket and use it whenever possible. But follow these techniques when any anytime somebody whips out the fair word to you. Okay? That's not fair. Okay, well, tell me why you feel that way. And then simply ask, when they're done, if you were in my position, what would you do? And then when they give you their unreasonable response to that, just simply say, gosh, I'm sorry you feel that way. And then be quiet. Being quiet in negotiations is powerful. I would use it all the time. Highly recommend it. I'm sorry you feel that way. And then shut up. Leave it with them. Number 11, and the final point on my negotiation tips and strategies. Get on the phone. Get on the phone. You cannot be an impactful negotiator via text and email. I know it's more convenient. I know it's easier, but you cannot be an impactful negotiator via text and email. Look, written negotiations take too long. They lead to misunderstandings and greatly reduce your ability to influence other people. Remember, 67% of all communication is nonverbal. It's not what you say, 
It's how you say it. When you're communicating back and forth with the other party, whether it's your customer, it's a co-op agent, it's a lender, you're not being effective. Nobody's communicating. You're just exchanging information. You're not communicating. And let me say that again. Email and text, you're just exchanging information, but you're not communicating and you are not influencing other people. That is going to come from your conversations with them. So get on the damn phone, talk to people, interact with them, use these 11, the other 10 skills that we've talked about, which you're not going to be able to use via email or text. Use these in your conversational pattern with the other party. So get on the phone, folks. I don't know. What do you think? If you followed these 11 tips and strategies, would you become a more effective negotiator? And would you be going out and making it happen for yourself today?